What doing? exactly is the matter with you? Ah, excuse me, but Hello. What? <laughs> Listen, bit of a weird question, but do you know where I might find some moonshine? What? Moonshine. No, strong liquor. Over strong. Wow, you want to get over drunk? <laughs> no, no, it's not for drinking. <laughs> what is it for? Oh, I just need some. Well, as luck would have it, you are in the legal hooch capital of America. There's plenty of real booze here. But for shine, well, I'm guessing you'd need to go out into the woods. I mean, I know you'd have to go out into the woods. Now listen, I don't need that much. How much? About a hundred gallons. Of shine? Yes, thereabouts. Why? Oh. All right, I'm trying. I'm building a machine. A machine of love. <laughs> Hundreds of gallons of hooch and love's gonna come pretty cheap. Please, friend. I'll pay. Just, just, just bring it here. It's for a good cause. Well, if anyone knows who's moving that kind of shine, it'll be that stagecoach guy in Rhodes. By a snake. <laughs> I need medicine. Oh, 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 you need to drink this. Suck them in my help. Is that medicine? Oh, oh, thank you. Thank you. Oh, oh, oh. Let's go, boy. I owe you one, Mr. Got that right. Hopefully, I could repay you someday. Uh, now, I gotta get out of here. Don't much like it. Out here. No more. Uh... Just stay the hell away from snakes, all right? There, boy.
Good evening, sir. Glad you dropped in. I've got that, uh, information you asked for. Um, I need something more specific this time. A wagon full of moonshine. Well, you might just be in luck. I knew I picked the right feather to speak to. Nothing would shock uh, me these days. No.
Where's this shot? Who we got here? Oh, stop a moment. Hey. Step down from there and drop your weapons. I'm taking this shipment. Oh, no, you ain't. You ain't getting nothing. Get you home. Easy now. Moonshot! You're a wonderful man! Wonderful! <laughs> you got my money? It's, it's for a very good cause. Uh, my name is Professor Andrew Bell III. Perhaps you've heard of me. <laughs> Can't say that I have. Oh, I'm an inventor. Uh, maybe you've read about me. <laughs> uh, I don't read much. Oh, oh, well, that's too bad. Oh, yes. <laughs> you got my money? <clears throat> oh, well, it, it is the most wonderful invention, friend. Oh, you, sir, have done a great deal. All deed. I've done is get some creep a lot of drink. <laughs> creep is excellent. No, nonsense. Now, you've helped me develop the most humane machine imaginable, a way to induce calmness to our most troubled souls, a way to end the barbarity of a public hanging. Oh, so, so humane. What are you talking about? The electric chair. Well, what? You see, it's a chair full of electricity. It's quite fascinating. It calmly and peacefully dispatches the sinners uh, to face judgment. Yes, judgment. Yeah. Where mm. is it? Well, uh, it's in my laboratory. The next thing I need is a, a demonstration, a public one. Huh. Uh, do you know the police chief? Hmm? As well as anyone. Oh, wonderful. 
Perhaps you can encourage him to let me demonstrate the chair. It will help bring this town into the next century. Yes, could you do that? Excellent, excellent. Oh, this hey, wonderful methanol. 